hello and welcome to my channel for today's video i am completing the meal prep march series by talking about snacks that i prep for work it's bittersweet filming this i actually really had to push myself to do this because we're not in school right now and it was unexpected and it's just been kind of a difficult time we're not doing online learning in my district yet the update that we got most recently says that we'll be starting online learning April 3rd and we expect to be back in school April 16th. Whether or not that's what actually happens, we have no idea, but as of right now, that's the plan. So I'm not even sure if I'm still technically on spring break right now or not. Everything's just so up in the air and it's just so weird, but I wanted to just complete the series in case anyone's watching this like in the future um, looking for ideas. So I'm not going to actually be preparing anything that I'm talking about today just because I'm home and it doesn't really make complete sense to. Although I think it would be beneficial because when I need a snack lately, I've just been grabbing whatever's convenient out of the cupboard. And lately that's that was the white cheddar smart food popcorn, which is one of my favorite snacks, but I ate like a third of the bag in one sitting the other day, which that's more than you're supposed to. The first snack that I'm going to talk about that I like to meal prep in advance for work is a yogurt parfait. Now I actually hate yogurt. I only ever liked yogurt when I was in the hospital after I had my son and I was trying to like make sure I still was eating healthy. So just, just try it. I ordered a yogurt parfait and actually really liked it. So I make them now and I consider them to be like a breakfast food. So I'll usually eat this on my morning prep which starts at around 9 a.m so it's kind of like getting a second breakfast but i use this yogurt it's vanilla flavored light and fit and i use these containers from rubbermaid and they were really inexpensive in walmart and i have three of them so i think they were a three pack i've had them for a while now but it's like a nice cup it comes with this insert so you can keep your um ingredients dry whatever you wanted to add and then the lid so what i'll do is when i'm meal prepping i will fill these three cups with yogurt and depending on how i'm feeling either the night before or the morning of i'll take some strawberries like this is the best i can do i'm just gonna hold up the things so i'll take um two to three strawberries depending on their size and slice them up and i'll put the strawberries in with the yogurt and then I'll take my granola and put the granola in this piece so that it stays dry because soggy granola is gross. And this is not my usual granola. This is um, our uh, virus shopping granola. This is what I was able to get. Normally I get the Nature Valley oat and honey granola and I like that. This is actually pretty good. It's vanilla almond. There's little almonds in there. It's okay. Um, so I haven't been preparing these because I've been able to just make them at home and just have them in a bowl in the morning. And um, so that's the first snack. The other thing is I like hummus and I go through phases of what I want to eat with the hummus. So right now I'm into carrot sticks and I'll just take a carrot, peel it, chop it up. I honestly don't like baby carrots, but I'm wondering if I cut them a little bit, maybe I'd like them better. I just don't, I don't know, just something about their size. Um, so I would put carrot sticks in this container. This is just from the Dollar Tree. It's really inexpensive. Um, put the carrot sticks in here and then put like a glob of hummus at the top and use that for a snack. Um, other things I like to eat with hummus are red pepper um, strips and pita. Although I don't think I've ever really brought pita to school. It's usually something I have in the summer because then I can warm it in the oven. And the last snack that I like to prepare ahead is a trail mix. So you can buy trail mix obviously and parse it out for the week and that would be great. But trail mix always comes with peanuts and for whatever reason, I don't like peanuts. So I make my own trail mix recipe and this actually came from a YouTuber, Carly Christman. And I know she mentioned it in one of her videos a long time ago, like years ago. I've been doing this for a long time, but I'll take almonds. I actually was ready to make this trail mix now until I pulled the almonds out of the ca uh, cabinet and realized there's like nothing in here. So there's like five, um, but I'll take almonds and it says that a serving size is a quarter cup. So I'll take a quarter cup of almonds and put it into my container. And then I take craisins. The serving size for craisins is also a quarter cup. I'm not a big fan of craisins, 
but it's okay because then you take chocolate chips. So these chocolate chips, actually I've been digging into slowly, like little by little, just eating them right out of the bag. It's been my comfort food. Um, so get dark chocolate chips and a serving size of this is one tablespoon. So I'll set up my containers. Usually I have five different ones for this. Sometimes I just use um, Ziploc bags and put in all the almonds into all five bags and then craisins and then the chocolate chips and then just mix them up and it's a quick and easy and delicious trail mix to eat. So those are the snacks that I typically prepare if I'm preparing snacks for meal prep. A lot of times I'll just make sure that I have fruit at home like apples or bananas or just like cut up cantaloupe or something and I'll bring that throughout the week. I also like to bring mozzarella sticks like string cheese and the Sargento balance breaks are really good. So it just depends on my mood and what I'm in the mood for because snacks are the one thing that I typically mix up. Like I'll have one type of snack for an entire week and then maybe the week after that I'll do the same thing and then after that I'm tired of it and I have to do something different. So this concludes meal prep March. I just wanted to talk about what to expect on this channel in the next couple of weeks. The short story is I'm not quite sure. I had a couple of videos that I was excited to film over spring break to have ready for the spring months and now that we're not in school I'm not so excited about them and honestly they seem kind of irrelevant. I'm sure they'd be useful in the future at some point but for right now I'm not really sure if it's something that I want to put out right now. So if you have anything in particular that you want to see let me know in the comments. But the other thing is, and this is exciting news, I started a second channel. So right now that will be getting most of my focus in the next few weeks. And it's a channel for geometry students and geometry teachers that need additional resources. I'm just doing short, simple lesson videos on different things. So my focus right now is getting a couple of videos up on that channel. And that might delay things on this channel for a short period of time. And so that's everything for this video. If you have any suggestions about snacks or any other kind of teacher meal prep, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.